Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is tachycardia, which means the fast heart rate, fast heartbeat, you know. Uh, but before starting this, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share this video for more information and uh, to support this channel as well. And uh, if you need more information, you can uh, visit our website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and alternatively, you can click the link in the description to visit the website. Thank you. Now I'll come to the topic. What's tachycardia? So tachycardia is a common type of the heart rhythm disorder, which is known as arrhythmia, you know, in which the heart beats faster than the normal uh, while at rest, you know. And uh, <clears throat> it's normal for uh, your heart rate to rise during the exercise or uh, as the uh, physiological response to stress, you know, that's the psychological uh, and the physiological response to the stress, you know, <coughs> and the trauma and illness, you know, which is known as the sinus tachycardia. You know. But in tachycardia, uh, the heart beats faster than normal in the upper or the lower chambers of the heart, uh, both while at rest, you know. Now your heart is controlled by the electrical signals which are sent across the heart tissues, you know. And tachycardia occurs when an abnormal, uh, there is an abnormality in the heart uh, uh, produces rapid electrical signals that uh, quicken the heart rate, which is normally about 60 to 100 beats per minute at rest, you know. And in some cases, tachycardia may uh, cause no symptoms or the complications, uh, but if it's a left arm treated, tachycardia can uh, disrupt the normal heart function and lead to the serious complications which may include like heart attack, heart failure, you know, <coughs> stroke and the sudden cardiac arrest or death, you know. And the treatments uh, such as the drugs, uh, medical procedures, surgery uh, may help to control the rapid heartbeat or manage other conditions uh, contributing to the tachycardia. Now, next thing is uh, uh, the types of tachycardia. But there are many types of the abnormal tachycardia and uh, they are classified according to the origin and the cause of the abnormality or abnormally fast heartbeat you know and the common types may include like uh, uh, atrial fibrillation, uh, atrial flutter, uh, supraventricular tachycardia known as SVT you know and uh, ventricular tachycardia, uh, ventricular fibrillation and uh, so these are the main types, you know. Now, the atrial fibrillation is the, the rapid heart rate uh, which is caused by a chaotic irregular electrical impulses in the upper chambers of the heart atria. And uh, uh, these signals result in rapid, uncoordinated and weak contractions of the atria. You know? And uh, the atrial fibrillation uh, may be temporary but some sort of won't end unless they are treated, you know. The next thing is atrial flutter, you know. The flutter, uh, the heart atria beats very fast, but at the regular rate. And the fast rate results in weak contractions of the atria. And the atrial flutter is caused by irregular uh, uh, circuitry within the atria, you know. And the episodes of the atrial flutter may resolve themselves or may require treatment. And the people who experience that atrial flutter are often experienced atrial fibrillation at other point, you know, at other time. You know. And other type is a supraventricular tachycardia, which is known as SVT. Supraventricular tachycardia is an abnormally fast heart uh, heartbeat that uh, originates somewhere above the ventricles. You know. And uh, it's caused by the abnormal uh, uh, circuitry in the heart that is uh, uh, usually present at birth and creates a loop of overlapping signals, you know. And the vent ventricular tachycardia is a rapid heart uh, beat that uh, originates with abnormal electrical signals in the lower chambers, known as ventricles. And uh, the rapid heart rate does not allow the ventricles to fill and contract efficiently to pump enough blood to the body, you know. And uh, another one is the 
ventricular fibrillation. It occurs with uh, rapid chaotic electrical impulses past the ventricles uh, to quicker, ineffectively, instead of pumping necessary blood to the body. You know. So the ventricular fibrillation may occur during or after the heart attack and most people who experience the ventricular fibrillation have an underlying heart disease or have experienced the serious trauma such as uh, being struck by the lightning. You know. So <clears throat> there's a ventricular fibrillation. You know. Now the symptoms of the uh, tachycardia include shortness of breath, and lightheadedness, rapid pulse rate, palpitations, chest pain, and fainting or syncope. So these are the main signs and the symptoms. And uh, some people with the tachycardia have no symptoms. And the condition is only discovered during a physical examination or with the heart monitoring test called an echo, uh, electrocardiogram, you know. Uh, there are a number of uh, conditions uh, that can cause a rapid heart rate and uh, tachycardia symptoms and uh, it's important to get a prompt and accurate diagnosis and appropriate care if your heartbeat is fast you know. and if you weigh, uh, if you faint you know or have difficulty in breathing or having the chest pain uh, which lasts more than a few minutes uh, you should get the emergency uh, uh, attention, you know, and you should call the ambulance services straight away. You don't waste your time. Next thing is, uh, what are uh, the causes of tachycardia and the risk factors? Now, the tachycardia is caused by something that uh, disrupts the normal electrical impulses, and uh, they, these impulses control the rate of your heart's pumping action you know and many things can cause and uh, contribute to the problems with the heart's electrical system and these may include like uh, uh, damage to the heart tissues from the heart disease uh, abnormal electrical pathways in the heart which are, which are congenital which means they are present at the time of birth you know uh, congenital abnormality and uh, anemia Exercise, stress, uh, when, which is sudden, you know, like you're frightened, you know, higher low blood pressure, smoking, fever, alcoholism, caffeinated beverages, and certain medications, uh, side effects, you know, and uh, uh, drug addiction, uh, electrolyte imbalance, and uh, overactive thyroid, which is known as hyperthyroidism. So these are uh, uh, the common causes, you know. And to understand the cause of the heart rate or the rhythm problems such as tachycardia, uh, it helps to understand how the heart uh, electrical system works, you know. So that I will explain in the uh, a separate video, you know, how the heart electrical system works with the diagrams, you know. And uh, <clears throat> so don't forget to watch that video and I will upload maybe in a few days, you know. Now the risk factors include like heart disease, high blood pressure, smoking, alcoholism, drug use, caffeinated beverages, anemia, psychological issues, you know. And, uh, Maybe the age and family also play an important role, you know. But the complications of the tachycardia vary in severity depending on the factors such as the type of the tachycardia and the rate and the duration of the rapid heart rate, the heartbeat, you know, and uh, existence of other heart conditions. And possible complications are like blood clots that cause the stroke or the heart attack, <coughs> inability of the heart to pump enough blood, which uh, uh, cause the heart failure, you know and the frequent fainting or the passing out, sudden death. And uh, sudden death is uh, usually only associated with the ventricular tachycardia and the ventricular fibrillation. You know. And uh, the most uh, effective way to prevent the tachycardia is to maintain 
healthy heart and reduce your risks of the developing uh, the tachycardia and any other heart diseases you know <clears throat> excuse me and if you already have heart disease uh, monitor it and follow your treatment plan to lower the, the tachycardia risks you know and uh, uh, you can prevent it by just uh, uh, having the exercise and healthy eating uh, maintain the healthy weight keep blood pressure within the normal limits stop smoking don't drink but if you want to drink in moderation and uh, uh, stop taking the any recreational drugs if you are doing so and use over the kind of medications with the caution you know always uh, talk to the pharmacist before taking any kind of the medication uh, and decrease the uh, caffeine use and manage the stress properly <clears throat> so this way you can lower the risk of getting the heart diseases you know and uh, the next option is uh, uh, like uh, monitor and treat the existing heart diseases so if you already have any heart disease uh, follow the instructions and the medications uh, prescribed by the doctor follow the plan uh, report any changes in your symptoms immediately to your doctor you know and uh, this way uh, you can control and you can improve your heart health Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Keep watching. Goodbye.